Are you guys Nepgear's friends? That thing on your wrist is really cool. <laughs> Let me see it. Cool? <laughs> if you can understand the level of cool my radio wields, then even in your adult state, you're pretty smart, Nepsy. Hey! Nepsy, now is not the time for... Wait, what's this fish? <laughs> That's hilarious! Look at his serious mug! I said hey! Yikes, the weirdo lady just lost it. Cease your pointless babbling! How dare you creatures ignore me! Oh, sorry. Did you want us to include you in our conversation? Because... no. I think I'll pass on including a terrible person who torments cute girls. Plus, uh, no offense, but you look kind of creepy. <sighs> Running your mouth like that? I, Arthur, will have you pay for making a mockery of me! You will pay with your life. Arbor? <laughs> what a weird name! It's not Arbor, it's R4! R4! Arfjord? <laughs> Why do they call you that? I seriously doubt anyone sailed up that inlet in over a millennia. <laughs> I'd blame your wardrobe. over there? I think the bigger problem is that R4 is just unable to cope with being instigated. I will never forgive you. I'll murder all four of you at once! Oh, hold up! Quick time out! Huh? It's RPG tradition to heal up before battle. Today, as a special present, I'll give you girls the Netball V2 that I just made. Totally crazy color! But is it alright? They say bitter medicine's the best, so a little bitterness is kind of fun. Go ahead, slam it down like milk after a nice hot bath. All in one go. Do it! Okay. Ugh, it's really bitter. But, wow, my wounds are healing. I think my strength's coming back too. We can probably win against her now. Now, let's get pumped up for the boss battle! Dimension Traveler Neptune no reporting for duty! I be defeated by these foolish children. Believe it, you're done. <sighs> huh? 
Hey, are you two CPUs, perchance? Definitely. Sorry for the late intro, but I'm Uzume, and I'm the CPU of this nation. Thanks a lot for the help. We really needed it. Ooh, even in your normal form, you're pretty cool looking. You think I'm cool looking? Ha! I knew you'd get my vibe, Nepsy! You know, in your normal state, Nepgear, your looks are pretty similar to mine. If I ever had a younger sister, she might even look like you. Oh, what a pretty thought. I'd love to have a younger sister someday. Uh, um... Now, now, Nepsy. You're troubling Gearsy. Oops. Sorry, Gearsy. I didn't mean to trouble you. I just got excited. Oh, that's right. What do we do with this grotesque lady? Arbor, was it? What should we do? I didn't really think of what to do with her after she'd been defeated. We hadn't really expected the tables to turn in our favor like that. But now we have the perfect opportunity to beat some sense into her. <laughs> now then, what to do? I'm gonna punish you in my own super stylish way, so I hope you're prepared. Uh, I no longer have any will to fight you. Aren't you a CPU? As a CPU, you should treat prisoners according to the law. Law? Like I give a crap. I'm the CPU of this nation, and that means I am the law. Whatever I do is the frickin' law. Even if I beat you to a bloody dead pulp, as long as it's cool in my book, that's all that matters, right? Huh? Answer me! Violence is not the answer! Usume's really getting into it, huh? She's acting like a nasty delinquent. This isn't unexpected. There has been a startling amount of rage welling inside of her. She's turning into quite the villain. Hey, hold your horses! Violence is no good! What? You... you're going to save me? Step aside, Big Nepsy. I have no obligation to this monster and she's not getting out alive. It's a bad move, Uzume. Anyway, I've decided to put this gross bug into my specimen book, so you can't. What? I mean, come on! Check out those purple wings! She's like some kind of poisonous butterfly, so she's gotta be a rare creature! So, I'm gonna put her into my specimen book alive and make her part of my collection! Ah! Well, she is the most vile creature here. Exactly! Well, that's the deal, so it's absorption time! Let's go! She's really shrinking and getting absorbed by that crazy book! Last but not least, I just tape her down and voila! It's finished! Huh, that's a pretty dope book if it can turn that hulking beast into a stupid little bug. What is the meaning of this? Who do you fools think I am? Release me this instant! I think she's saying something. Hey, if the book ends up so thick, won't you be unable to fully close it? Ignore me! Oh, no worries about that. There! Oh. Whoa! You squished her! Oh, no, no, she's totally fine. I don't really get it, but if I close the book, I can preserve her as is. It's super convenient. This is so weird, but really freaking awesome. At the very least, it will reduce the burden of carrying her around. And we can speak to her at our leisure afterwards. I'd still like to get a few punches in, though. Sure. But let's keep moving back to the base for now. Right. You gonna tag along, Big Nepsy? Is that okay with everyone? Of course. You saved us, after all. I'd really like to thank you somehow. Yippee! <laughs> I've been kind of bummed out since I got here. It's been super lonely without anyone around. Plus, I've run out of food, so I've been on the brink of starvation for a little while. We'll make sure you get fed. The least we could do. Really? Thanks so much. Let us depart then. We may speak at length once we arrive at our destination. Going here? I'll show you that I'm capable too! Hi, 
shall sleep to become a fully-fledged CPU. 